All right, dress rehearsal. So Elon Musk was in the news recently. I know, <laughs> Elon Musk in the news. I was shocked. He's such an obscure figure. It's like a Dennis Miller reference at this point. And judging by that audience reaction, I think a Dennis Miller reference is now a Dennis Miller reference, babe. It's the uh, Dennis Miller reference singularity that scientists warned us about in the 90s. It has arrived, but I digress. Because Elon Musk is in the news because Elon Musk, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this, has a plan. I know, <laughs> I, couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it myself. <laughs> Elon Musk has a plan to populate not one, but two of the nine planets in our solar system. And there are nine. Team Pluto, folks. I'm a Pluto truther. I think, there's, I think we can all agree that there's a special place in hell for the scientists who just arbitrarily decided the smallest a planet can be is slightly bigger than Pluto. <laughs> I'm sure people will be okay with it. That's the closest I think we've ever come to rising up against the system. But yeah, yeah, we're all busy. And working really hard and seven jobs trying to pay the rent. But I digress because Elon Musk has a plan to populate near, nearly one-fifth of the planets in our solar system with his own seed. His own billionaire sperm. Because he says, and this is the funny part, he says there aren't enough people. He takes that big billionaire brain of his and he looks at the problems of humanity, the problems of Earth. And he's like, you know, I see vast degradation of the ecology. I see unsustainable you can't feed all these people. There's no way to feed all these people. But what this problem needs, do you know what this problem needs? More people! <laughs> That's what it needs. Just say you don't want to wear a condom, bro. No, no, no. Elon Musk has to populate two planets with that billionaire penis of his. Unbelievable. He's only got 12 kids that we know of. Now, I think... I, this is just a theory, but I think, knowing Elon, as I do, he's having sex with 365 women a year at the peak of their fertility. He's got an algorithm set up, so when they're ovulating, when they're peak ovulating, it's time to go, time for Elon, time for Elon time. But of course, being Elon Musk, that wasn't enough. Imagine that talk with the people, because you know, he didn't write the algorithm. He ordered somebody to write the algorithm. All right, I want you to write the algorithm and uh, 365 women, I'm peak. Give them the, give them the billionaire schlong uh, peak uh, when they're peak ovulating. Okay, sir, we can do that. Uh, and alphabetize them. Excuse me. I'd like the women alphabetized, please. Uh, sir, sir, that's all. I mean, we can do it, sir, but it's a, lot, it's a lot of extra work. I mean, we could do, but good, do it. Okay. Uh, may, I, may I ask why, sir? You may. Oh, I hate when he does this. Why, sir? <laughs> you know, you know the comedian Sam Kinison? Uh, Kinison, yes. He had a bit about uh, licking the alphabet. Indeed he did, sir. Well, I'm going to fuck the alphabet. Ha 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 So it's meant to be funny, sir? To me it is. <laughs> Get back to work, slave. And you'd think that's where the story ends, but no. There's a twist. No, not in Elon's penis. He's not a duck. He may very well be a quack, ladies and gentlemen, but he's no duck. No, the twist, my friends, is in the story. Because Elon Musk 
has a father. And Elon's father also believes the problem facing Earth is that there's not enough people and the solution is his penis. And what's crazy about that is Elon and his dad don't agree on anything. They hate each other. They can't stand each other. Elon's like, uh, I'm gonna give you a grandson. And then the dad's like, uh, I'm gonna give my grandson a uncle. <laughs> and they just keep doing that till the planets are populated. Uh, I guess is their plan, but they don't talk. They don't, they don't get along. They hate each other. This is the only thing they agree on, just this and music. Because believe it or not, Elon Musk and his father have the same favorite band. That's right, folks. Of all the bands in the history of music, Elon Musk and his father have the same favorite band. Of all the musical acts in the history of the planet Earth, Elon Musk and his father's favorite band is The Breeders. <laughs>